Hi everyone. So last time I did a review, um, I was doing an Eco Flow review, and today I got the uh, Dokio 300 watt solar panel. So thought I try it out. Um, you saw in my last video I did the um, a smaller solar panel, which is this one right here. It is only 120 watt, and this is the Eco Worthy. So look for comparison. Look at this. This is not as heavy. This one is probably 16 pounds, so it, it is a little heavier. It weighs almost the same as the EcoFlow, um, the EcoFlow River. So let's let's open it up and see what we have. So this one I purchased it myself. Um, I didn't get a sponsor or anything like that, so it's paid for myself, and it's from Amazon. It's called the Dokio 300 watt solar panel. I'll put a link in the description below and check it out. So let's unbox it and see what's in here. All right, let's see what's in here. So it looks like we have the uh, XT60 to an SAE connector. It comes with a charge controller, which I, won't, I probably won't use. So it's just an extra and it looks like uh, these cable clip, uh, these battery clip for and an XC60. And it looks like an XC60 uh, to a barrel plug. And then you have these adapter for different um, barrel plug size. So you can always plug it in here. But for the EcoFlow, we're using the um, XT60 to the SAE. So let's try it out. All right, and this solar panel is all Velcro, so that's a good thing. So you just open it up, and then open it up on the other side. It's all Velcro. And that's it. So it doesn't come with an MC4 connector. It comes with an SAE connector, but you can always get the um, SAE to MC4 on Amazon, so we're probably going to purchase that because I do have some um, some power station that uses the MC4 connector. Yep, so as you can see, there's no MC4 connector on it. It's just an SAE connector. And we're going ahead and plug it in to the EcoFlow. Good thing is the uh, EcoFlow uses this XT60 connector and it's already got a XT connector plug on it. And it should start beeping. Let's see what comes up. Oh, I can't see with the sun. Let me get in the shade a little bit. There you go. It's charging about 100. Still going up. About 175 watt. So it should be full in about two hours. Battery's at 42% right now, so, and it's um, charging at 175 watt. We probably don't have a full sun right now. This is a 300 watt solar panel. But so far, so good. The last panel I did, the smaller one only was putting on about 80 watt. And just for comparison, you can see that's 120 watt, and that's the the Kio 300 watts, so a little bit different in size. This one I was getting about 80 watt, and that one I was getting 175 watt. So there, I usually take a minus, usually minus 20% on a solar panel. They don't get the full 300 watt usually, or whatever the max rating is on it. So it's always minus 20% or so. All right, that's pretty much it.